Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. In today's video, we're going to look at an EEG record of a 19-year-old male who has a history of epilepsy, and they're on the anti-epileptic medication called Depakote. So in the initial EEG, we've got some eye blink movements here. It's just to start it out. And the spike here, this is just from muscle activity. Too sharp, I would say, to be an actual epileptic sharp wave. But we will get into seeing some epileptic activity in this EEG, let me tell you guys. So the first thing you do when looking at an EEG is you have the patients close their eyes and you make a mark on the record for the doctor just like this. And then you'll see in the back of the head, 01 and 02, you're going to count the background. How many waves per second? So if we count here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 waves per second on the right side of the head, 02. And now you go over to the left side of the head and count how many waves per second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is symmetric. It's the same on each side. And it is a reactive PDR, posterior dominant rhythm, because it appears with the eyes closing. And when the patient's eyes are open, it's not as prominent. So it has a normal posterior dominant rhythm. That's a good start. But as we scroll through, we're going to start to see some abnormalities. Now, this is some eye movement right here, just to point it out. This right here, these little spiky things, that is just the patient being a little tense. And this here is the electrode coming off and gets put back on. Probably the EEG tech was fixing T3, that specific electrode. And here is our first example of a burst of spike and wave activity. This is what is called an interictal, so between seizures, epileptiform discharge. So these are epileptic discharges that happen in between actual seizures. Now, if it wasn't this short and it went on for many, many seconds, that would be classified as a seizure instead of one of these interictal, short, quick, epileptiform discharges. As we scroll through, the background returns back to its original state, and we see a little bit bigger burst of these interictal epileptiform discharges. Now, this is pretty interesting, and it might be a little more prominent in the front compared to the back, interesting to look at changing the sensitivity with the up and down arrow keys and keep going well we go back this is probably some weird eye movement keep going and keep seeing these bursts now during these bursts it said in the history that the eeg tech tested the patient's level of awareness since these bursts kept happening the EEG tech said that they did the activation procedure called hyperventilation, had the patient take deep breaths in and out over and over again repeatedly, and it actually accentuated these bursts of interictal epileptiform discharges, and they started happening for a little bit longer, maybe up to about five, five, six seconds in total. So during these bursts, the patient was not aware, they were not able to remember the code word, so their aware awareness is probably impacted during these discharges, and they keep happening over and over again. Now, as we get to a little farther in the EEG, we see a major change. So let's back up a little bit and see what was going on. So we're starting to see more of those bursts, interictal bursts, interictal bursts, and now... Well, this time, it's a little bit different, guys. It's starting out, and it's starting to evolve over time, and it doesn't stop. It keeps going, guys. The epileptic activity keeps going. It turns into a real, full seizure, and it said in the history that the patient ended up, you know, going stiff and then having shaking movements as well. And this is looking like a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. 
affecting the whole entire brain. So this patient really has a lot of instances of epileptic activity in their brain. So maybe they got to change the medications or something. They're only on Depakote. Once the seizure is, you know, into full swing, it says in the history that the patient almost fell out of their chair. I mean, these are pretty serious seizures here, guys. And the electrodes essentially come off of the patients and we are unable to capture any more data because well, the electrodes came off and nothing we can do at that point but try to make sure that the patient is safe there's no save in the eeg at this point uh can we can put it back on after the seizure is done and we know the patient is safe and this patient may be going on to uh, long-term monitoring after having such a dramatic event so if we look over the whole entire eeg on the trends, we can see that the background frequency in the very beginning is about 10 hertz, 10 waves per second. This little, these little specks right here, that is our background. This red bar is just the calibration. This is when it starts. And these little choppy little flames here, these represent the interictal epileptiform discharges that we were seeing in the beginning. You can count how many they are. This one is a little bit bigger than the ones earlier because the patient was hyperventilating. They were extending the length of the burst with hyperventilation. That's interesting to note. And this is when the generalized tonic-clonic seizure started. You get your full flame. And then about right here, it just becomes all artifact. And we lose contact with the wires and... It just goes all haywire right here. So that's the big picture of the EEG with the trends. And as we looked through it before, pretty interesting, guys. A lot to learn from this specific EEG. We learned about interictal epileptiform discharges that happen in between seizures. We looked at the background, which in this patient was a normal 10 waves per second. And we also saw a generalized tonic-clonic seizure where it actually ended up being so intense that the wires ended up falling off the patient and we were unable to get any more data. So thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button if you liked it and I will see you guys on the next video.